Vince should have said, wait a minute, look. And they should have came out with a press conference and said this, you know, wait a minute, you know, Mars or sneakers and all the, listen, you know, let's get the facts straight because here's a woman that worked for us for so many years that I still stand behind her, you know, because she deserves the recognition. So let's see where this came from and who started this mess. Um, I've, I've had cous I'm a cousin that come up and said, you know, said, Judy, did you really do that? I said, and I, I said, do what? And they said, oh, about Mullo pimping you out. I said, pimping us out? And like I said, I mean, n nobody really knows how it hurts you to hear that, that you work for somebody and they pimped you out so you could get where you did. I mean, if my mom and dad was still alive today, I mean, that would hurt them because wrestling was part of their lives too. It just hurts people. And it makes people think, that's why there's so much suicide out there. It's because people say so much bad stuff about people and they take advantage of it. They can't, how can you live that down when you got everybody, like over 10,000 people believe in that. That, you know, you were pimped out for that. And that, you know, what you did in the ring, how, how you, much you worked all the bumps and stuff you took for all these years as something that you love. I mean, I never talked about how much I love wrestling. But, I mean, that was something that I really loved. And I don't mean to cry, but and they said when we get old, we get real sentimental. <laughs> you know, but that's something I really loved, and I tried my best to be as good as I could. And that hurt. All you people that signed that petition and brought Mula into it as a pimp, that you, I felt that you really said that she pimped us girls out, which that never happened. The drugs, I've never done drugs. I mean, I could have been tested way back then, and I guarantee you the only thing they could found in me was a cigarette. And all, that it hurts. It actually hurts. And I'll, and I don't know if you guys are really wrestling fans or just have nothing to do but sign. If you did sign a piece of paper, you just signed it. But you really damaged a lot of girls in this business that worked at that time. And you need to get to know who you're talking about before you go out there and really screw up people's lives like that that you don't know nothing about. And it would be like me sitting here and pulling out that petition and reading everybody's name off of it and telling a story that you would not like to be told on. So I would be bullying you, you know. I may have been a bully in the ring, but I tell you what, if I could actually sit down and talk to each one of you guys that signed that petition I would want you to know how we are feeling now about all this situation. And I hope Vincent will take it upon himself to correct this matter.